All right, well, good morning, YouTube. Good afternoon. I think it's actually, it is afternoon right now. Um, it's looked like this for the past two days. So my perception of what time of day it is is kind of off. But the purpose of today's video is it's a little bit of story time. You can see this is a Swiss Army knife, obviously. It's a Victoria Knox Super Tinker. Now, I grew up, and when I grew up, there were really three TV shows that I watched, and I was really into, and they really made an impression on me. And the first one is, um, is obviously, if you're my age or if you're around my age, you're aware of the TV show MacGyver. Um, I have the complete DVD set. All of the episodes and all of the made-for-TV movies. That was like my show. I was really into that. I absolutely loved it. And if you're not familiar with the show, he uses this knife, a Victoria Knox Super Tinker, and he's like a secret agent special operations guy who doesn't use guns he uses this knife to make uh bombs and and fix cars and do all get into all sorts of adventures but um growing up i had this is probably the fifth or sixth one of these knives that i've actually owned because when i was younger my parents would buy them for me um or they'd buy the wegner model and they would, I'd lose them. And I mean, I was young, I, I'd lose, I'd lose them. I had this exact knife several years ago. And when my wife was involved with, um, the Boy Scouts have this program where you don't have to be a boy to be involved in it anymore. It's, it's like, um, uh, what are they called? Venture Scouts. My wife was briefly involved in that and she needed a knife for um, camping purposes with the, with the group of, of the co-ed group that she was part of. Um, she was one of the counselor scout leader type. Thing. I don't know what you'd call it, but she was, she was an adult and she was in charge of it. And um, she needed a knife. So I gave her my model of that knife there and it, it got lost like all of my other ones. And yesterday uh, my wife is actually going to be working. Ooh, actually, I actually heard a bug. It's like 45 degrees out. And I heard a bug. Um, my wife is going back to travel nursing. She wanted to get back into the, um, the travel nursing again. She likes bouncing around and she's going to be working up in Boston. And because I'm not really sure of the rules of things, uh, I'm just going to say she's working in Boston at, at one of the Boston hospitals. And um, because she's in grad school right now, she wanted to get a backpack and a, a water flask, a water thing to, uh, to be able to, if she wanted to take the train, she wanted to be able to put all of her books for grad school in it and have a little hydro flask. So we went to... The REI in uh, Cranston yesterday, which is about a 20-minute, half-hour ride from here. And she I had, she said, oh, you, you know, why don't we go for a little ride? I'll go, well, we'll go down there and I'll get a backpack and that kind of stuff. And I said, yeah. And I said, you know what? I really miss having a Swiss Army knife and I would like to get one. So... I looked online and the model that I wanted is this one right here, the Super Tinker. And wouldn't you know it, that was literally the only one that they were selling at REI. It was that one or a little one like this big that um, it had, I actually have one downstairs and I should have, I should have brought it up. Um, but. It was a little one that had a little pair of scissors, a little knife, 
and um, a little file on it, and of course the the toothpick and the um, the tweezers. So without further ado, I've been rambling long enough. I'm going to get into this. Um, this knife. Why did I choose this one? So I'll probably end up doing a video on this, but we do. We we basically live um, in such a way that. We buy all of our food in bulk. We buy a lot of canned food. We buy a lot of canned meat, canned vegetables, uh, canned fruit, like the fruit cocktail and stuff like that, pineapples, things like that. Um, and the reason for that is that's a whole nother video about, um, about prepping and things like that. But I have a Leatherman Wave. I've done a video on that, but it's big. It's, it's, it's really more for like work purposes, like doing carpentry, doing landscaping, doing um, like going camping, things like that. It's a very big tool and I don't really wear a belt anymore. So it has a, a pocket clip on it, but I wanted something that's always going to be on my person. And I wanted it to have a can opener um, because we, like I said, we, we, eat a lot of food that comes out of cans. Um, the can opener itself actually has this small little nub on it that can be used for um, flathead screws and it can also be used for doing um, number two Phillips screws. That'll actually fit in the cross of the number two Phillips. Obviously it has a Phillips head screwdriver that can be used for both Phillips head one and Phillips head two. This little guy here never really had an interest in it. It's a it's a parcel hook. Um, I guess you can use it to carry uh, paper wrapped parcels that have um, a cord on them. Not really something that I do a lot of, but it has a 200 pound capacity. And I can tell you I will be using that when I go fishing to carry my fish out of the water to uh, my creel. So this here, it's an awl, um, an awl and a reamer. That is, I find that most useful for making holes in leather and cleaning out um, the hole in leather. Like if I have to add another belt loop to my tool belt or something to that effect. This little knife here, um, that's the one that I plan on keeping absolutely razor sharp. And that's going to be for really fine, really uh, intricate cutting things that, um, things that need a really sharp knife. Um, this blade over here, the big one, that's going to be the one that's kind of the beater blade. Um, that's going to be the one that I strip wires with. That's going to be the one that I cut through insulation with. That's going to be the one that does the rougher work. Uh, if I have to whittle something, if I have to like make a point on the end of a stick for whatever purpose, that's the one I'd use because this one is going to be kept razor, razor sharp. This here is obviously a flathead screwdriver, but it's also a bottle opener. And supposedly you can use that little divot there to do, um, to strip wires. But honestly, to be honest with you, if I'm, if I'm stripping wires, it's going to be with either this blade here or using this, like a, using these scissors here, like a pair of, um, linesman's pliers where you just kind of squeeze it and rotate it around the wire so that you're cutting the insulation on the wire not the um the copper underneath and it has a toothpick on the other side and this here is a little pair of tweezers which as a carpenter i really like because i will always have tweezers on me so this is the knife that the fictional character macgyver carried it's also the knife that Norm Abram, of the other two shows that really shaped my life, uh, carried. I read his book years ago, Measure Twice, 
cut once when I first started working in carpentry. I, I read that book. And he actually recommended this specific knife. This is the one that he uses. So um, he he was famous for... Um, now, I got I to gotta remember that not everybody who might be watching this is my age. Uh, he was famous for two shows, one of which is still on the air called This Old House. He's He does, like, guest appearances on it. And he had another show where um, he would make furniture and... Uh, he made a gazebo, he made a tool shed, um, called, oh god, this is, t uh, when is it, uh, there's this old house, and, oh, New Yankee Workshop, I've actually got the sticker for it, um, a little sticker of the logo, and I gotta put that up on my toolbox with all the other stickers that I have my son make for me, but, um, so... At that point in my life, when I was younger, I was um, in elementary school when those shows were on the air, when the, when we really used to watch those shows uh, on PBS, and I think MacGyver was CBS. But um, those really had an impact on me. I, I do use my Leatherman Wave that my father gave me uh, when I graduated the Fire Academy long time ago now um that was back in 2001 either 2001 or 2002 he gave me that and i still have it i i still use it it's it's my work tool it's my camping tool um it's my heavy use tool um but I wanted something that I could keep in my pocket. Now I'm going to see if I can do this as I'm as I'm talking to you people without cutting a finger off, um, because these knives are incredibly sharp. Ooh, there's some kind of nastiness on the bottom of it from sitting on this little footstool. Um, this is not going as I planned. All right, so here we go. Ah, I'm glad I didn't do that with a blade. I just closed the screwdriver on my finger. Um, so, this knife, I showed you guys how it was sitting there on the, the little thing underneath it there, um, the footstool. This is the size of this knife. Look at how this fits in my hand. This is getting, this, since I got it yesterday, has been living in my right pocket it has taken the place of the other knives that i would carry here and there um because i i like to have a knife on me at all times um i like to so basically there's two things that as soon as i put my clothes on i make sure i have one is a knife and the other one i'm gonna get it out of my pocket as i'm sitting here is a handkerchief and as you can see there's there's paint on this there's i want to say that's caulk um i don't use the well i mean i do occasionally use these to blow my nose but i find it very useful to have a rag on me at all times because of the way i live because of my way of life uh i'm always i always need a rag uh, i might be working on a small engine i might be working on one of the cars um i might be taking apart and rebuilding my sump pump for the third or fourth time i i always need to have a rag on me um obviously you can see this paint this caulk i use it all the time when i'm doing carpentry as a oh i need to wipe this off and so these are the two things i keep this in my back left pocket and I keep a knife in my right front pocket. And this one here, I find is, I, I really feel that that's gonna be a good tool to have on me. I, um, like I said, the Leatherman is great, but it's huge and it's heavy. That's nice and small. It fits right in my hand. You barely feel it in your pocket. And it's a, it's, ooh, it's a little wet from sitting on that. Cause like I said, it's, foggy and gross but I, I really like this it's a good little tool and um 
In fact, I, I actually used the scissors on it yesterday. We were, uh, my older dog, the chocolate lab, Dipsy, who likes the butt rubs, um, she has an infection in her right front foot. It, it developed an abscess, and we have to keep it dressed with a sock. We have to keep a sock on it and tape the sock up. And we couldn't get the old sock off, so we just cut it off with the scissors on this. And, um, you know, she's on several different antibiotics and, and she's, she's getting much better, but just something as simple as that. It was nice to be able to just take this out of my pocket instead of going and, and looking for a pair of scissors or my leather man. And it was right there and I just used it and it was nice, but it's a good little tool. And uh, like I said, this is probably the fifth or sixth one that I've owned because I always lose them. I, I always I'll, to fall out of my pocket or whatever. Um, I do a lot of hiking, a lot of camping, and it's a good knife to have with you in your pocket. And when I was younger, I didn't really take care of them. I didn't really look after them the way I should. And it's nice to have one again. It's nice to have just a... a really classic Swiss Army knife. Um, it's a it's a good tool, and I'm, I'm glad that I have it. I'm glad that I picked this up yesterday. So I think I've talked about this enough. I think I've said really all there is to say about having a Swiss Army knife and a bandana. Uh, we actually call them panuelos because that's the Spanish word for a uh, handkerchief, a panuelo. So that's what I carry every single day. And this is the knife that is, is gonna be carried in my pocket from now on. That I've been carrying, I've been carrying a Panuelo for probably five, six years at this point. Um, and it's gonna be, this is a nice new thing to carry to really reduce the weight that's on me. And uh, yeah, this is a Victoria Knox Super Tinker. And it just, that's a classic knife. That's, reminds me of my childhood, the good parts of my childhood, because it was, let's just say there were few and far between the good parts. Um, this, this makes me happy. This makes me very content to have this. So I hope wherever you are, that you are comfortable and that God is with you. Thank you.